during the regular season. Do you think you guys are doing a different or better job of trying to deal with that now in the tournament, or maybe you're better than you did earlier in the year? Yeah, I feel like we're doing a better job now because obviously uh, it's when to go home and we play our best basketball when we're not thinking, when we're just playing loose and free. So everybody's in a great mindset. Everyone's making sure everyone else is in a great mindset. So we're just going to continue to have a positive mindset going into this next game. What about with Cal? Like, how is he? Has he been any different since he was in the regular season or even looser or more relaxed? No, he's, he's definitely been a lot more positive being a cheerleader more. Uh, because he gave me and Lance the captain um, captain role. So he kind of put the pressure on us, and uh, we'll take on that role. Um, it takes the pressure off of him so he can have that opportunity to be a cheerleader and have that positive mindset towards us. Jacob, being a captain now, has that changed you at all? No. Uh, I'm the same person. I'm going to do whatever I need to do to help this team. It, it feels like you're a little bit more... I'm not saying you weren't locked in before, but it seems like you're pretty locked in to, to what you guys got ahead. Because I know what's at stake. Uh, it's winner go home, and I'm going to make sure everybody's in the right mindset. I'm going to make sure everyone's good. When things aren't going well, um, keep your head high and just keep pushing, and I'm going to make sure everyone's in that mindset so we can keep winning games. There was so much pressure to win a game. Now that you guys have won a game in the NCAA tournament, does it free you guys up at all? Uh, the pressure was coming from the outside world. Uh, we didn't have any pressure. You seen us yesterday. We were having fun playing basketball. There was no pressure on us at all. And we're going to continue to play loose and free. We're going to continue to have fun. And that's what's going to depict this. Uh, obviously, we got to fight. We got to play defense. But if we're not having fun, um, things won't go well. So we're going to continue to have fun and uh, hopefully come out with W. You mentioned to me the other day that you play your best when you're playing within yourself. What is that? Uh, when I'm not focused on myself. Uh, I'm focused on this team, and I'm being mo more vocal and uh, more of a leader instead of worrying about what I have to do, worrying about scoring, worrying about doing this and that. When I'm focused more on the, this team, that's when I'm playing at my best. How far have you come over your time here? I've come a long way, um, not just as a basketball player, as a person, uh, mentally, spiritually, physically. I I've gotten a lot better in every aspect of my life. Keontae Johnson is, a, is another pretty, I mean, that kid's a bull. Really good player. He, yeah, yeah he, he's a really good player. That's another matchup I'm looking forward to. Um, he's a really good player, but at the end of the day, it's not just going to be me. Uh, it's going to take the whole team guarding him. They have a really good point guard as well, so uh, it's going to take a team effort to win this game. Last night, Oscar said that he was motivated by everyone saying going to get beat by this big guy from Providence. Did you guys let him know today that there's no way he can top 25 rebounds in a game? Yeah. Just extra motivation. Oh, no, I told him if he's going to get 25 that game, he has to get 25 this game, too. So I gave him a chip on his shoulder. Um, he definitely understands that he has to be big time for us uh, this game so we could uh, have a chance of winning. How insane? It was insane. I looked at the stat sheet right after the game. I was like, hey, like it's insane. What, what makes Keontae such a tough cover? Um, he's a physical, uh, versatile player. He could shoot. He could uh, drive the ball. He could finish at the rim. Um, he, he, he's, really, he's a really good player. Uh, so you have to just kind of go at him different ways defensively and try to get him to think a little bit so he could start thinking and uh, hopefully uh, miss shots. So, again, it's just not going to be me um, who's going to have to guard him. It's going to be everybody being in the gaps and raking and just doing all the little things to help um, win the game. Antonio talked about washing away the butterflies from last night. You guys kind of go into this next game with you know, no butterflies. You're just kind of cool and calm and collected. I mean, we're human. There's always going to be butterflies, obviously. It's March Madness, so uh, we, we just focus, really focus on just having fun and uh, living in the moment and understanding if we fight, if we play loose and free, we could, we could do something special. I know you guys said you guys are focused on your bracket, but it's hard. You see, already just feeling comfortable with the guys. I feel like that's going to help as well because you just already out there and get your little jitters out and things like that. So it'll take a little while to kind of get used to you. Yeah, definitely. I, I believe so. Like, just those couple of shots, you know, it felt really good, but, you know, they rammed out. So, as we kept playing, you know, I ended up hitting one, and I started feeling good after that one. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're a good team in the conference, like top three. So, you know, of course, 
you know, it's going to be some, I won't say, it will be probably be some problems out there, but, you know, we just going to have to be ready for them. You know, we just going to have to play as a team, lock in as a team, and just stay focused. Especially for a shooter, how much more help you now that you've been here a couple days, you get a game under your belt to play in um, like just feeling comfortable, or like, um, I say, just, you know, just getting used to everything. Like, like I said before, just getting used to the rims, floor, you know, the fans being out there. You know, I didn't really think that many fans would fill up the arena in March Madness like that. So, you know, just being out there and just experiencing that, I think the, the guys felt pretty good about it. Yeah. Um, I know he's a two man, good scorer. Um, he's a he's a dog. That's all I really know about him. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be tough. You know, he's a really good player. Like, like I said, like, you know, he does everything out there, facilitate, score. You know, he's gonna be gritty. You know, he's just not gonna let us win. Things like that. So, you know, just going against him is, you know, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be you know tough, fast guards. Um, like you said, I've been playing up here all year, so you know just have this guard night type of type of guard is gonna be you know it's tricky, but you know you just gotta be ready for those type of situations. So, yeah. Um, just knowing, just to calm myself down in those moments. Uh, don't get too hyped. Don't get too low. Um, just you know, just just put it in my head. Basically, like I've been here before. You know. Just I made big shots before, you know, so that's what it was. Really. Uh, in that moment, March Madness, you haven't made, though, because you haven't had that opportunity. What does it mean to you that you were able to translate as easy as you did? Man, I don't even know how I really did it at first. Like, I just went out there and played. Like, uh, Coach always states, just play freely and, you know, play open out there. So, you know, just I had a couple jitters at first, you know, just a couple possessions up and down, up and down. But, you know, I just treated it as a regular college game. Man, it feels great. You know, like you, like I said, you don't know what to expect that that first game. So just being able to win that game and transition to the second one, you know, it feels it feels good now. Yeah. Um. I say basically like they were first got me at first, got a couple steals like that. Um. But you know, just ball movement really, and just picking spots on the floor where I can get open. You know, that's that's what it really was. You know, teammates look for me, and I was I was dead open sometimes, and just let it go. Yeah. Cal was talking about TikTok dances last night at the podium. Are you trying to teach him TikTok dances? Uh, nah, I don't think he, I don't think he was really paying attention to what he was doing. Um, I don't think he want to learn either. <laughs> so. No, 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 no. I think he, 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 he nah. I don't think so. I don't think he, he can move like that for real. So. Hips aren't there anymore? No, hips aren't there anymore. Like, no, nah, I, I won't. Nah. Mm. Pass his front. Way past his front. Yeah. I'm sure when you came in, you're probably thinking, by the time I get to the NCAA tournament, I'm going to be averaging, you know, 15, 18 points a game or something like that. Actually, when I came, committed to Kentucky, I knew that my role was going to be, you know, there's going to be a lot of sacrifices that need to be made, especially if I wanted to be um, a part of a team that's winning and it's meaningful wins. So I already knew that I was going to come in and have to make a lot of sacrifices and I wasn't going to be able to play my, you know, full game that I'm used to playing. But I'm, I've accepted that, you know, I just want to be a star in my role for this team so we can make a run and just, you know, be great, be great together. And what was it there that clicked, either mentally or just finding your place? What, what was it this season? Kind of decided, okay, this is my role. Well, I've been playing basketball for my whole life, so more so, it's more so a mental thing. We, we got to um, deal with that. 
you know, it was, it was, you know, it's more so mental. So I feel like, you know, I've, I've done a great job of dealing with it. Thank you. Yeah. Um, we have a really tough group, so you know, as far as like you know, being um, tired or anything like that, I'm not really worried about that. We're just gonna recover and just get ready for the next game. So I think we're gonna be good when it comes to that. Uh, I'm feel, I feel pumped. I'm ready to go. I think it's gonna be a great game, and I'm ready to compete. Yeah, I know they're really a really good team, like really good. They shoot the ball well. They're aggressive. They can get to the rim, and they have um, a really good wing, Keontae um, Johnson. I think that's his name, and um, the great point guard. So we're ready for the matchup. He's ready to go. I'm just looking forward to it, you know what I'm saying? I'm very familiar with his game, very familiar with him as a person, so I think it's, um, he's going to bring it, obviously. It's a tournament, everybody's going to bring it. So I'm just, as a competitor, I'm just really pumped for it and ready, looking forward to it. How has Samir helped kind of, you know, short term, you haven't got to scout too much for him, but how do you think? Um, I think it's going to uh, help a great deal because he's told us uh, a lot of things that he does from his perspective as a, as a smaller guard that we can look out for. And also just um, just like play, the speed that he plays with, you know, being able to practice against that is going to be a great great thing we can use as experience to help us against them tomorrow. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I don't. I bet he doesn't even know what TikTok is. To be honest, I bet he doesn't. Yeah, um, yeah. He was playing a, a, a game that we seen over TikTok the other day, and he was like trying to do it at practice um, earlier today. So I think he's gonna want to learn some. How's his rhythm? It was alright. Like, you think the hips are still there? Uh, it's a little stiff, but I think we can make it work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. What about Jacob? How much he has grown over this year? He was going through some struggles, and he's kind of come on the on the other side of that. Yeah, um, we grow through struggle. Um, Jacob we went through a lot. Sometimes I just put him and just help him. Now when I'm struggling, he came to me and said, Oscar, you be telling me the same. Stay, stay, calm down. We need you. Stay strong. So he has grown a lot. When I first met him, he was 12 years old. Now he's like 18. Um, so he's, he has been through a lot, and I'm proud of him. You mentioned last night 25 rebounds, but what is it, 4 for 14? I think you called it trash. Do you feel like you're gonna you're better offensively this time around? I should be good tomorrow. Um, I was super trash in offense yesterday, but tomorrow I should be good. I believe in Jesus' name. I believe. You've accomplished so much in your career, but to have this opportunity in front of you, just how much do you relish all of um, this? Is the, this is what I've been working for, and I've been dreaming. I've been praying, God, and my dreams to be in the NCAA tournament, to be able to play Final Four, Final. But for us, I'm very excited, and I'm, I'm locked in. If you can see me, when I come in my room, I'm just doing the things that it can help my body to be ready to be playing this game. Were you able to talk to Bryce after the game? Uh, no. Do you no. think you will reach out to him? I'll reach out to him for sure. He, he was a little bit emotional and stuff. Um, I see him. It will make me remember of last year. Uh, so I'll reach out to him. That's my brother. I call him once in a while. We talk a lot sometimes. But, I know he's fine, he's fine. He happened to me last year. It, it took a little while for me to let that go. Were you guys able to celebrate it all last night and kind of relish in getting that first win out of the way? Yes, we uh, we just had fun. We went back home, we had a good dinner we played. To, uh, we had fun together as a team and we had a good night's sleep. Wake up this morning, we had walked through, we had breakfast, treatment, all those things. So we had a lot of fun. You guys been able to keep up with some of the other scores of uh, some of the other games, and like specifically the Fairly Dickinson 16 up upset and that kind of thing? Well, whatever happened in the past is gone now. We're just focusing on what is ahead of us. Um, if I can think of the game, is uh, for my mind, is how we beat Tennessee at Tennessee. 
to help me to be locked in again tomorrow. If I can think of the game is how we beat the Arkansas, the Arkansas, like uh, that's the game is in my mind right now and I believe we can do great things in that. What specifically from those games do you think back about? For our fights. We went in there with the mentality of a warrior. We went to fights and we, we brought a victory home. Probably been asked this already, but when you look at this matchup tomorrow, what's going to stand out? What makes it a good matchup for you guys, and what's going to make it a challenge for you too? What makes us good matchup is because they got they play a lot of guard, and uh, we have no problem with that. The coach we have a good plan for us, and I know they big like uh, they say play a little more like a straightforward. But for me, I'm just gonna be do what I do. Run the floor, help my teammates. I gotta be better in the ball, ball screen coverage. We need that. We need that tomorrow. And do the things that you can help us win. So um, I'm excited. Was it weird to get used to the arena and the floor? Yeah. How was that process? Yes, I kind of slide a little bit yesterday. Foul down and say, wow. But today, give more chance. But since we played yesterday and we had practice today, and um, got used to it a little bit. Keontae said that you guys prayed for each other uh, over the course of the last couple of years. What, what is your all's relationship? Our relationship has been great. Um, since I see him, he was struggling, was going through a lot. I reach out and I say, man, um, know that I'm praying for you and let's stay let's stay strong God is going to bring you out better than you were before and he's going to do great things for you stay strong since day we start he started reach out to me see how I'm doing if I had a good game he say oh man good game man keep it up good keep up good work my prayer was for him to be back in prayer so like um, I thank God because I can see him now and I'm going against him He'll be, it's, it's amazing, I'm so happy. What does it mean to you that he reached out to you and said that he was specifically praying for you and you know, he was the one with a serious medical emergency and everybody was praying for him and the center of attention, but, but he wanted to reach out to you and pray for you specifically? That is a love. Uh, a love is now, if it, the true love my dad told me is that when you are facing so much, when you are going through a lot, but you are reaching out to other people and you tell him I'm here for you. That's a true love. A true love is to carry for others, not for just for yourself. He was going through a lot, but he did, he did not really, he, he had he had a pain, he was going through a lot, but he was reaching, I'm pretty sure he did not just reach out to me, he reached out to many people. That's love. That's why he's going to succeed and he's going to go far because his heart is big. Thanks,